getting over him. I got no rules, I count him. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me kind of. I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look and I also talk about my new hair. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I just thought I would kind of do a chatty get ready. Obviously I changed my hair color. It is so vibrant. I don't even think it's showing up on camera how vibrant it is in person but it is so pretty I'm obsessed with it I've had that teal color for over a year and I spent all day yesterday trying to strip out that color which is a process a very long process it literally I spent all day yesterday doing it and I got it faded pretty good and I think that the color looks awesome. I was able to get most of my hair blonde and it doesn't feel like I damaged my hair too much. I did use bleach. Blue and green are like the hardest colors to get out of your hair and of course I had that teal for <laughs> over a year so it was kind of hard to get out so what I did was I took the vitamin C tablets and dandruff shampoo and so I would put the shampoo in my hair I would scrub the teal and it actually really helped to lift the color and then I did bleach it and then after bleaching it I think I did three of the shampoo like soaks and then bleached my hair and then I did two more of the shampoo and vitamin C scrub things and you just get in there and you like really scrub your hair with the mixture and it actually took a lot of the color out of my hair and doing those two those last two after bleaching my hair took out almost all of the remainder of it. I was gonna film it, but it was just like such a process and yeah. So I didn't actually end up filming it. But then after I did that, this morning I put in this color which is Arctic Fox Electric Paradise, I believe. And that color is bomb. Like it is so, Cool. I knew I wanted to go pink like I kind of wanted to do like rose gold for summer but I really I saw this color on their site and I loved it like it looked so cool on their site so I'm actually so excited about it I love the way that it turned out it kind of is rose gold up here where some of the green didn't lift all the way but I didn't want to bleach my hair again because I had over processed my hair before and I wasn't about to do that again. So I just put on my brows with the ABH dip brow in dark brown and now I'm going in with the Benefit Gimme brow in five. You know when you dye your hair like a new color like this and you feel like you have to get all ready like makeup, hair, get dressed to like see if you love it. That's what I'm doing because I just dyed it like I just got finished curling my hair and I was like, I need to do my makeup. I love it, I'm so excited. I was like, I had teal forever, for like over a year, which is crazy. And so now I'm pink. I wanted to go pink for summer. My son was sad though. He said, I really liked the blue mom. I don't like pink. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry bud, we'll do, we'll do blue again. So now I'm just gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape, this is in the shade Fair, and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. You just have to ignore my gross finger, my nail. I'm hoping with my next fill, I'll be able to put a new nail on it because it's been, what, has it been two months already since I ripped my nail off? Okay, so because my hair's pink, I'm gonna go for a pink 
eyeshadow look, so I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Palette. I think that I am going to use this a lot this summer. I think this is going to be my palette of choice for the summer, so expect a lot of tutorials from it. So I am going to be picking up Amy, and it actually looks exactly like my hair. It looks so much like my hair. I'm picking this up on a Morphe M504 brush. Look at how neon that looks. That's why I love these shadows. And I'm just gonna buff that out towards the brow. I think I'm actually gonna highlight this shade on my lid. Deepen the crease and highlight it. I did not set the concealer on my eyeshadow because I've heard that it really makes your eyeshadows pop more and it's still if they're good shadows they still should be able to blend over that base not being set so that's what i'm trying today i'm digging this color this color looks exactly like my hair i feel like when you have fashion colors in your hair it's hard not to lean towards those colors in your makeup that's what i do all the time when i had the teal i would like add up teal to the waterline or to the lower lash line I would always try to add it in somewhere I'm just building up this color oh my gosh I'm living for this color digging it I have to go show my husband he was like did that just make your day I was like it did <laughs> Next, picking a Morphe R37. I'm gonna pick up that deeper pink, Eliza D. And I'm working that in the crease and on the outer corner. So next, I'm gonna cut the crease. I think I am gonna take that first shade that we used, Amy, and I'm going to highlight that right on the inner corner of my eye. I can't really see a difference. I did a cut crease and you can't even tell. So I'm just going to pack that pink all over. Doing the cut crease just kind of was not really doing anything. And then just packing some of that pink, the rose quartz over it as well. Light in that inner corner. Wow, that looks really pretty. So you can just skip the cut crease. That was not really necessary with this look. It didn't make that big of a difference. This side I did a cut crease, this side I didn't. So there's really not a distinct difference in it. Taking that first brush again with a little bit of Amy and just blending out the outer edges. I really like these kind of monochromatic, is that what they're called? Like one color eye looks where you just make them lighter and deeper shades. And then again in with Eliza D right on the outer corner. And jumping into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just gonna grab in light and put that right under the brow bone and then picking up beam which is my favorite inner corner highlight okay so I'm going to go in and prime with my normal primers the Smashbox photo finish primer water and the Urban Decay optical illusion complexion primer today I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Matte HD foundation in the shade beige Next, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Fair. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light 10. So I've been pre-filming and pre-recording a bunch of videos because I have family coming to stay with us at the end of May. So I've been trying to film and edit and schedule uploads because I have that family coming in and then also at the end of June, we are supposed to have family come stay with us also. And then my, I'm 
next week my son graduates from preschool and we'll be going to kindergarten next year which is crazy but I've been like filming and just trying to get everything done so that while I have family here it's not I don't have to sit down and film because I'm gonna have a bunch of people at my house like I've said before when I film it's usually when my kids are sleeping well in I think two weeks I will have instead of two kids at my house I will have five kids at my house I just sprayed my setting spray which I'm almost out of this one I usually spray my face after powder I feel like it helps melt everything together I feel like it really helps my skin look nice anyway so we have all that going on so I feel like I've been trying to film as many videos as possible going into my physician's formula bronze booster I'm just gonna lightly contour I need ideas of some videos to film if you guys have any ideas of stuff that you want to see you should totally comment down below then going into the physician's formula butter bronzer and just warming up the face do you contour before or after you bronze I've been seeing a lot of videos where people bronze and then they contour and I've always contoured and then bronzed I think I still look super white on camera like super pale using my benefit dandelion blush and then my going into my Milani stellar lights highlighter let me pick up this white okay to finish up the eyes really quick I am going to take that first shade we used, Amy, go figure, and smoke that out on the lower lash line. It's picking up very, it's funny because in the palette it looks very orange pink, like very orangey pinky, but then once I get it laid down and start blending it out, it's very pink. And then with a Morphe M432 picking up Eliza D and I'm keeping that right next to the waterline only going about two-thirds of the way in I like looks like these because they kind of look a little more intricate than they are they're just very smoked out and honestly I only use about three shadows with this look and then picking up that inner corner highlight again out of the Jaclyn Hill palette which is beam Focus that on the inner corner and dragging it just a little bit. So then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Milani Make It Last. So for my lips today, I'm gonna take my current favorites, the Lorac Highly Pigmented Lipstick. I'm gonna take the shade Optimus all over the lip and then I'm gonna take Flower Child, which is a very pretty pink, kind of on the center of the lips. So I am gonna go pop on mascara, lashes, and liner, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up the rest of my makeup. I popped on, I added winged liner, popped on some lashes and mascara, and this is the finished look. I love it. I think it looks awesome next to my new hair. I'm super excited. I think it looks really good. I really love these eyeshadows that I used today. I just love that palette. So if you guys have any suggestions for looks or colors you want me to highlight out of that palette, let me know down below and I will be sure to check those out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post three videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Getting over him, I got no rules, 